Aber wir erstmal hatten ja 5 Millionen. Dann spiel ich viel, viel schlechter. Ja, habe ich die 5 Millionen doch noch geschafft. Da möchte ich hin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oder hier hin. Da haben wir Traumblasen links da Bombs da.
No. Wer Geduld hat, braucht kein Glück. Irgendwann kommt das schon. Ist dabei. Reiß mal St Grundstücks. Nö. So oft spielen wie ich will. Damit ist das gegessen. Cosmoponity, äh, Cosmonopoly ist gegessen. Sehen wohl wieder voll.
Splitter? Habe ich da gar keine. Wenn du sagst, ja. Ah ja, dann soll ich sie kaufen gegen echt Geld. So. Jetzt könnte ich die Pela da irgendwie auf. Ich bin die Archeron. Acheron. Ich doch nicht. Ich doch nicht. Dann machen wir die Mission weiter, würde ich sagen. The world has truly lost its way. You wait. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? Well, you youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. Well, a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death, huh? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Now, oh, what a disappointment. The effects were awful. I first, have a fancy some monster fancy. covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. Oh, the sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? Yeah, what else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Well, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. <sighs> Feel something inside my head. Uh, is the harmony starting to kick in? Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Wow, how fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please, feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. 
by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about Er wartet, Death? er wartet am Ende, du wirst Death? ihm begegnen, wenn die Zeit reif ist. That's a pretty scary topic and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Paniconi. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. Mm -hmm. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Mm. Nobody knows what caused it, mm. but... Luckily, the customer eventually regained mm -hmm. consciousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May Shibe protect us? Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. <laughs> ah, the disturbing voice in my head. Ah, it's getting closer. A sip of liquor. A blissful reprieve. To drown a thousand sorrows. Let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Oh? <laughs> you... You're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> You really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the Devil of Soul Glad. <laughs> <laughs> the Devil of Soul Glad? Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. It's a seahorse with a long neck. <laughs> they say it loves to appear to jump people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> yeah, very funny indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Ugh, darn it! <laughs> now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. <sighs> hmm. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to, but thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, actually, I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. All right. 
Good luck with your work then. <sighs> what was I even thinking? Quite Family fine. would never share intel with the IPC. <sighs> you want to talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. <sighs> so, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, Maybe you've heard something about death. Ah, huh. another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. I'm playing through on a map. Hmm. 